This is the FL Sun Cube 3D printer. It comes in a kit, so assembly is required, but there is a PDF included with detailed instructions with pictures for each step of the process. One of the main features about this printer is the print button. The bed is 260 by 260 millimeters and it can print up to 350 millimeters in height. The bed is heated and one of the things I noticed about this bed specifically is the size of the heating element. It has a larger heating element which means the heat is dispersed more evenly and it also means faster heating times. There's two Z-axis stepper motors which gives the bed a lot of stability and rigidity when printing. There's an auto bed level sensor, which I really like to use before every print. But if that's something that you don't prefer, there's a Z axis limit switch and step-by-step -step instructions on how to set that up. One of the things I've noticed with other printers is the stepper motor controllers. I've had them overheat in the past. And one of the things I'm really impressed with this printer is the dual fan cooling for the control board, which helps keep those stepper motor controllers nice and cool. Included in the kit is two rolls of PLA, some high temp tape for the print bed, an SD card with everything needed to start printing, including all the software, such as Repetier Host, Slicer, and the latest version of Marlin configured for this printer specifically. I definitely would recommend this printer even as an entry-level printer. The fact that it was a kit gave me a lot of insight on how all the parts work together to produce a high-quality print. At the price for the size, this is a great value and I will leave a link down in the description on where it can be found. I do plan on making plenty more videos about this printer specifically, so please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. A couple of things I want to talk about are how I print flexible material with a Bowden style printer, Marlin configuration setup, slicer settings, and any tips or tricks I find along the way. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. Thank you.